Welcome to the Kuya Dev Podcast, where we explore the ins and outs of building a successful tech career. My name is Rem, your Kuya Dev, and I'm excited to have you join me for this episode. Whether you're just starting on your career, looking to shift careers into tech, or hoping to grow more as a tech professional, this podcast is for you. Thank you for tuning in, and together, let's enjoy the episode. Do you have a vision? Often, a mission and vision, we hear about these things sa mga organizations, yung mga malalaking organizations, and even in startups, na pinapaskil yan madalas sa mga pader, di ba? Nakalagay, naka-frame, or naka-plaque. Nakalagay, mission, vision. And often, we don't really pay attention to it. Pero I wanna ask you, ikaw mismo, may vision ka ba? In terms of your career? In terms of what you wanna do? Or what you wanna achieve in life? Kasi ang often na naririnig natin na payo is to have goals. Di ba? Pero goals are parang ano rin eh, um, wishful thinking lang yan pagka you don't exert effort eh. And like what, I, what I found na parang nakatulong sa akin in terms of achieving things that I wanted to do, most notably, yung nung nag-transition ako into a tech career, was having a vision. Hindi in terms of kailangan mong isulat, although makakatulong siya para talagang magkaroon ka ng idea where you went ahead, no? o kung saan mo gusto makarating. But magsisimula talaga siya kasi no? vision is no? having no uh, a view of something diba kasi vision is that uh, is tied to one's eyesight diba so in a sense vision is having a clear picture of the thing you want to be in or you want to achieve so hindi lang basta gusto ko makatalon sa tech hindi lang basta ganun when i had this vision kumbaga parang Pumasok talaga sa isipin ko na imagine ko talaga na andun na ako sa tech industry, na programmer na ako, na web developer na ako. It was very concrete dun sa sa sa, sa mind ko in my imagination na eto andito na ako, ginagawa ko yung trabaho as a web developer. Although I didn't have any idea, no, or um, much of an idea of what the job of a web developer is. Pero na-imagine ko, andun ako, ginagawa ko yung trabaho. Kung ano man yung trabaho yun, basta andun. And it was a very vivid picture. Talagang narahawaan ko yung computer. Kasi yun na eh, di ba? yung habang nag-aaral ako, yun na halos yung trabaho. Although I didn't really know yung mga processes and everything, but I was already imagining myself na may type ng code. No? Nagko-commit into the git history and building something building software and actually coding it was very concrete na parang nararamdaman ko talaga i could feel it in my hands tuwing nag-aaral ako noon inimagine ko na yung ginagawa ko habang nag-aaral yun na yung ginagawa ko sa pang-araw-araw na trabaho as a web developer even though I've never really experienced it. And having that vision no, really propelled me, really pushed me into pursuing it. No? Kahit na sobrang hirap. Na may mga uh, araw talaga na ayoko siyang gawin. Pero no, once that vision uh, uh, occupies my mind again, it pushes me. Eh. Kahit na ayoko talaga, tamad na tamad na ako. It really pushed me towards that vision. Kasi, when I was starting out, andun ako sa, sabi nating day zero. So, sabi nating yung vision na yon hindi ko alam kung kailan yung mangyayari. And I didn't even know 
kung gaano katagal yung road na tatahakin towards fulfilling that vision. No? Towards being actually in that position and in that situation na andun na ako. So, naging daan talaga siya for me to really put me in the place or put my mind in a place na kaya kong i-pursue, kaya kong ipilit sa sarili ko na gawin yung trabaho o gawin yung what's needed to fulfill whatever I was pursuing. So, of course, no? Napakahalaga ng motivation and everything. Pero yung motivation, it wanes. Pero yung, ewan ko ah, at least sa, sa, sa naging experience ko, whenever I imagine something na I imagine myself na ito, ginagawa ko na siya. Tapos, day after day, ginagawa ko talaga ng paraan to improve towards that vision and the goals around that vision. Papalapit ako ng papalapit and eventually, ito nga, andito na ako. Yung vision na yun, it came into fruition. So now that I have fulfilled that vision, iba na ngayon ang pinapurso ko. No? Right now, I'm imagining myself na parang nag-aaral ng, ano, ng MS in computer science. Yung talagang hirap na hirap ako nag-aaral ng computer science or masters in computer science. Na-imagine ko na yung sarili ko. Although, currently, medyo sidetrack ako kasi ang dami nangyayari ngayon sa uh, past few months. Uh, especially ngayong bumabalik na yung mga tech events at uh, saka yung mga communities. So, medyo napapos yung progress ko towards fulfilling my dream or fulfilling my vision of actually finishing a master's degree in computer science. So, wala pa ako doon. Medyo malayo pa yon But, you know, dinadahan-dahan ko na every time na magkaroon ako ng oras, I try to put in time and the effort to learn things that would help bolster my application towards applying for, ano, for MSCS. Medyo mahirap yung pag... Di naman nata. Medyo may kailangan na prerequisites yung MSCS na applyan ko eh. So, kailangan ko lang palakasin yung sabi natin resume ko para makuha yon So, ayun. Na- naiimagine ko na yung sarili ko na parang gumagraduate <laughs> as an MSCS uh, student. No? At naiimagine ko rin yung sarili ko dati. Naiimagine ko sarili ko na or I had that, this vision na I would be speaking in front of people. And, lo and behold, yun na yung ginagawa ko. I, minsan, ako na talaga tumatanggi kasi wala akong oras eh. But I've been having invites to talk in schools. At the time of this recording, no, I was invited actually to talk again in UST. But this time, in person naman. And yung nakakatawa ron, kung yung talk na yun, it's different from the usual audience that I cater to in terms of speaking. Kasi non-tech people sila. Usually kasi mga tech people lang audience ng talk ko, no? Pero dito, hindi. Balik, ano naman, iba naman. Mga MBA students in a marketing class. So, yeah, I, I pictured myself speaking in front of people and sharing my insights and what, my, my experiences to them para makatulong sa kanila. So, yun yung pinurso ko naman. And, yun na nga, eto, nangyayari na. So, I guess my challenge to each and every one of you, uh, my uh, faithful uh, listeners, is to maybe build a vision. No? Go beyond imagination. Kung baga, i-feel nyo talaga. Parang, It's a different kind of daydreaming eh. Parang random mo talaga sa ano eh, sa sa na sa kamay mo o kaya doon sa paligid mo na ando ka doon sa situation na yon. Na it's really happening and it's already happened kahit hindi pa. 'Di ba? Sabi nila hashtag #manifesting 'yun eh. Parang ganoon eh. The, the mind is very mysterious eh. Parang it pagka naisip mo, pagka na feel mo, pagka talagang Pinersumo, it's going to happen. Eh. And personally, may mga, may mga iba pa akong ano, iba, marami rin akong ibang vision pa. Kung ano, are, 
I have this vision then on my 50s having a, a few uh, rental properties. No? And my wife and I have started building that. We're, we've started, um, kahit unti-unti lang, uh, trying to invest in properties. So I'm already envisioning myself also living in New Clark City, yung bagong uh, city ron. And my wife and I would be in a condo somewhere, no? Mga three bedrooms, sabihin natin. And we're building towards that. Medyo parang hindi ko ma-imagine paano magagawa yun kasi ang mahal ng mga condo na yun. But, no? May pupuntahan eh. Parang may gusto kang marating eh. Tapos naramdam mo na na andong ka sa loob ng condo na yun. Parang alam mo na na mapapasayo yun. It's only a matter of time na kung kailan siya mangyayari, kung paano siya ma-achieve. No? Nakasayo na yon, And you will find ways. So, pagka naman di mo naman binigyan ng effort, no? o binigyan ng oras, o ginawan talaga ng plano na inex- at di mo in-execute yung plano mo, a vision is nothing more than just daydreaming. No? O, wala siyang silbi. Like, yung mga usual na yung vision na naka pa na lang, nakapost lang dun sa pader na mga building and no one really pays attention to. That's, for me, that's not really a real vision kasi parang wala naman naniniwala dun, di ba? Kung hindi mo ma-picture yung vision na yun in your mind, if it doesn't align with what you're, what you're imagining, what you're uh, are thinking, no? O yung, na, na, yung clear, vivid image na nandun sa utak mo, kung wala yun doon sa utak mo, it's not really a vision. No? That, a vision that, no, na, that, that actually forces you no? to do action. Yung talagang papersahin ka talaga na kailangan akong gawin to kasi ito eh, parang sabihin na natin, paniniwala mo sa sarili mo, this is my destiny. Di ba? This is going to happen. No? Nasa akin na lang kung mangyayari siya. Kung hindi ka gagalaw, wala yan. That's not a real, ano, parang, ano lang, it's a pipe dream, kumbaga. So, yun nga, yun yung challenge ko sa'yo, uh, my dear listener, uh, and dear uh, subscriber, kung you don't have a personal vision pa, try, no? Try building a vision. May mga frameworks din yan. Ako, hindi ko sinusulat eh. Kasi, uh, although sabi nila, dapat isulat nyo, may, para may sinusundan sila mga guidelines on how to build a vision. But for me, one, tamad din kasi ako maggawa ng mga ganyan. Parang rigid na rules. Na medyo, hindi ako ganun eh. But, as long as may clear picture ako kung ano yun, that's okay for me. Pero kung sa inyo, baka kailangan nyo isulat. Minsan, baka kailangan nyo pang i-drawing, di ba? I-drawing nyo. Sa, kung magaling kayo, or ano, kung hindi man, hindi kayo marunong mga drawing okay lang rin, di ba? Basta i-drawing nyo, isulat nyo, gawin nyo yung concrete. Kung, if that works for you. Sa akin, okay na sa akin na nasa isip ko eh. Pero, pagka sinulat nyo yan, tsaka ginawa nyo yung drawing, or, dinro, or ano man, mas magiging ano siya eh. Mas, parang, mas ma-absorb nyo siya at, Hopefully, mas makakatulong sa inyo na to go into action, no? And to build that, you know, and sabi natin motivation or, you know, grit to actually make it happen. So, hopefully, makatulong sa inyo to. At uh, masagot din yung tanong na where do you get your motivation? I get it from, you know, of course, one, number one is knowing your why, but mo siya gagawin. Kasi bakit ka magkakaroon ng vision kung hindi mo na alam, alam kung bakit mo gusto yun? Huwag na lang, di ba? Knowing your why and having that concrete vision uh, in one form or another, kung nasa utak nyo lang or something you wrote uh, or something you draw, yun lang usually eh. Ang nangyari sa akin eh. Or what was really effective for me. Eh. Having a why and having a vision. And then executing. Building that consistency, improving your yourself every single day, and moving one inch, well, right na half an inch towards that vision. Uh, 
if you could time box it, okay din, di ba? In three years, dapat nakatalon na ako or nakaland na ako ng career in tech. Pwede rin. It adds a bit of pressure. Pero ako, I, I take things na parang, hindi, hindi kailangan. Basta, ang, ang mahalaga sa akin, everyday, nag improve eh. Everyday, may onti akong na i- kumbaga parang na ipasok sa bangko, no? Na aanihin ko ba lang araw. Unti-unti lang. I, I don't want to pressure myself na parang, uh, although, there are times na nangyayari sa akin yun, parang tagal-tagal naman. Like ito nga, you know, yung we want to we want to purchase properties. Pero, ang tagal naman, wala pa akong pera. No? Kaya sa akong kukunin to, di ba? Medyo naiinip ka rin minsan eh. Kasi parang, oh, tumatanda na ako, ganun. Baka maubos na ako ng oras. But you have to put yourself, ano eh, parang, gotta slow down din na, teka, teka. I've managed to move, move from no, point zero naman eh, to this point. So, medyo malayo na, layo-layo na rin narating ko. So, di na rin masama, di ba? So, ano na rin, uh, onting self-awareness, onting perspective, it really helps. Medyo sanga-sanga na yung sinasabi ko, eh, no? But still, you know, related kasi talaga lahat yan, eh. No? So, hopefully, uh, you could pick up any, uh, something from this. And hopefully, at the end of this episode, and uh, over the next few weeks, makabuo rin kayo ng vision nyo. You could start with your imagination. Kasi lahat naman tayo uh, nangangarap, eh. Sabi nga nila, dream, pangarap. Everyone has a dream. Kasi kung wala, why are you still, you know, uh, what's the purpose, you know? or you have in life kung wala kang parang mga inaasam-asam. So, yeah. Go dream. Turn it into a vision. Really vivid vision. Create a plan uh, on fulfilling that vision. Then, put it, put it in the, into action. No? Uh, turn it into a really, really solid motivation for you to move forward and achieve your dreams. So, With that, I end this episode. Thank you for what uh, for watching, listening, and I'll see you next week. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Queer Dev Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have comments, suggestions, questions, stories you want to share, or any topic you'd like for me to discuss, drop me a message via kuyadev.com slash contact. You may also join our community by visiting techcareershifter.com. Until next time, keep learning, growing, and chasing your dreams. Thank you again for listening, and I'll see you in the next episode.